Hello, I'm Karina Hatfield with PlanView. In the last video, I talked about how portfolio management can make the PMO valuable. And you obviously want to be that PMO, but you aren't quite convinced. It's understandable. I've seen PMOs not confident in taking on that role. Let's go through some challenges that PMOs have faced. I've heard, but the PMO is not part of the planning process. Or the PMO sometimes is on the receiving end of the planning cycle. So let's start with what you can do about that. As the PMO, I'd suggest you start developing partnerships. For example, I recently saw a PMO that brought their CFO into the conversation about what they needed to make decisions. And the PMO can actually be the central access point to gather key information for both operations and finance. You're already collecting information. Now, as the PMO, evaluate whether it's interesting or not. IT PMOs can be the source of information that business leaders want, such as the value of the project, its risk, its project difficulty, whether it's a regulatory project or not, the estimate, the level of effort, and be able to do so across business units. So rethink about being responsible of reporting what's already happened to what your PMs are actually doing. Their plans. The portfolio is your plan for the business. I've also heard PMOs think, but planning is often handled by executives, not the PMO and we just get handed an overwhelming list to do. I'd argue this is an opportunity for the PMO to partner with executives. If you map current projects to business drivers, technology and value, you've got the projects in the portfolio, so map those projects so that you can have really interesting information to drive future decisions. Offer your executives the ability to create a holistic plan of new and in-flight work, all that they can use while they're planning. The PMO can show that the PMO actually wants to collect information upfront about why the business wants to do something. I've also heard that the PMO can lack visibility into demand and capacity, so it would be really difficult to support this kind of process. I get it, but you're actually closer than you think. Take that holistic view you just created across all your demand, across all your projects that are in flight. If you add new demand, you can actually align that to capacity and be able to understand where there's capacity and exactly where there isn't. And you could take on the challenge that faces all IT organizations don't overcommit your resources. It'll give you confidence of being able to do the highest priorities if you have everything in one system and you partner with your executives to prioritize the work in the portfolio. If the IT PMO can't understand what is the most important things to the business, and if the IT PMO can't understand where they are on their capacity, the business is never going to understand that. So take what you're already doing and make it better. Leverage portfolio management. Leverage portfolio management in order to offer various scenarios and drive conversations with your executives. Be able to evaluate trade-off decisions before decisions are made. The business will want access to this information before making future decisions if they know that they can get it. The PMO and their portfolio management tools are actually in the best place to capture that information. Are you ready to understand how specifically PlanView Enterprise can help you? Watch the next in the series, Be That PMO with PlanView Enterprise. Thanks.